Hi everyone, it's Kelly. Thanks for stopping by my channel. If you're new here, welcome. And today I wanted to share some cool new items that I found at Dollar Tree. Especially if you're crafting on a budget, a lot of these items will come in handy, my friends. So let's jump right in. If you saw my shorts just a little while ago, this is the full video reveal. So here we go. The first thing up, I did find the Corner Office Jot Wire Tape Dispenser. And what caught my eye is I almost paid $9 for something very similar. I am so glad that I did not pay that money for something that was a dollar 25 now this is that wire system that dollar tree brought out last year you might remember the wall hangings and then the matching little fry baskets that were uh, pretty popular last year they have a whole system well this is one of their new additions and this is the copper rose gold and then this is the gold so this does come in two different colors and if you are a paper crafter journaler card maker watercolorist you'll know how important low tack tape is now low tack tape if this is new to you is a crafter's dream you can set it down on your projects and it won't rip your work it is like almost like a paper tape and it's not quite washi tape it's not painter's tape it's like come somewhere in between but this is a, a perfect uh, crafting tool so if you are a paper crafter card maker you'll know all about the low tack tape so let me tell you this is just a two barrel system you just slide it into place pop it into place and you can just stretch it out now this did come with a protective barrier so when it's in the store it looks like that amazing i am really grateful for that <laughs> keep our little fingers from getting cut but you can see here you just pop it down into place just like that roll out your tape and then all you do is line it up on there and just rip it just like that this is a great little addition to the craft room so you can see there it also works just perfect for scotch tape let's just say you want to have your little roll of scotch tape you can set that down in there and then you can have that on your desk as well just like that my friends isn't that great so a dollar 25 you have a little tape dispenser at your uh reach and it looks really really pretty again if you have this system here it works just fine next up i did find the crayola two pack washable glue sticks this is dry clear transparent non-toxic and what I loved about this not only do you get two for $1.25 and not only does it stand up so you don't have to be worried about it rolling all over the place is it's economical now I buy adhesive tape whatever is on sale whatever is inexpensive I am not particular with my uh, adhesives I even have a huge ATT, ATG gun but it's big it's bulky I don't use it very often so again I just use whatever's on sale this will be a great way to see if it will work in card making so what I have my friends is a little show and tell a little make and take but let me see if it works <laughs> so I'm just going to glue this on here and hopefully by the end of the video, it will have dried and we'll see how adhesive the adhesive is. So again, like I said, I love that it has a little stand. You just pop it right off and okay. My lip balm makeup ladies, here we go with our little lipsticks. All you do is twist and turn. That's all you gotta do. So I just grabbed a little sheet here. I'm gonna get some of this on the back just like that. And what I should have done is found what paper that I want to use. Let's just use something Eastery. Let's go with yellow. So I'm going to pull this out of the pack of paper. We're going to glue this down and see what it's like by the end of this video. So there you go, my friends. Take to that back in. Pop it back into your stand. And there you go. Oop, got more than I bargained for there. So you can see here, hopefully in the light, you can see that shiny glue that's on the back. And then we're just going to pop this right into the corner. Give it a little push while I get my wipes and get some of this glue off, just like that. And I'm gonna press this down and see by the end of this video, how is this setting? So there you go. I'm gonna just forget about him for a little while. We're gonna put that right off to the side, but $1.25, my friends, for the two glue sticks. So definitely check out what is over in the kids section. 
And I also found this, which I thought was totally groovy. My friends, these are the transparent sticky notes. There's a hundred in here. And the reason why I picked these up is these are giving some vellum vibes. As you know, vellum is amazing. I love to use it in my cards. It can be pricey, especially if you're buying a pack of it. So for $1.25, this is a great dupe. These are transparent sticky notes, but don't be afraid to use these in your craft supplies. And I'm going to show you right here. This is a great little transparent window that you can use for crafting. Now you might have seen this card. It was on my channel earlier and this does in fact have some vellum back there. So you can see here, this back here is exactly this sheet. So this should actually be this color, but it is muted. It's a little bit more um, softer. And the reason why is I didn't want this to you know, like, kind of like get lost in between the same color. So if this had been on top of that, you wouldn't have seen it. I added vellum. So that is a perfect little window to be able to use one of these. Don't sneeze on these. These were in the office supplies and I am so glad that I found these and you get a hundred so if you want to do the math a hundred of these at a dollar 25 that is a really great bargain so definitely keep your eye out for those I also found these right next to the Crayolas and the reason why I'm sharing these with you and you want to might might want to pick these up is these are great journaling cards they also make great card fronts if you are doing cards for kids or if you just want to add something a little festive in in your stash. I thought these were adorable. So these are color mixing flashcards and pink and orange. What do we get with pink and orange? We get peach. <laughs> green and white, you're going to get mint green, light green. Okay. So you can see here, these are super fun. You can just play around with the colors. Oh, pink and purple. That would be a really pretty card front. You get magenta. Pink and white, you get light pink. So you get the idea. I'm not going to go through the whole stack but there are all the colors of the rainbow in here and then on the back just in case you want to use the colors you can use the colors and another fun way to use these is let's just say you decided you don't want these you got home you looked at them yeah this isn't really for me just use them as card stock take a little heart any type of die, set it on there, and you have some great little fun card stocks. So many different ways to use these. I love, love these. It's the first time I'm seeing these color mixing flash cards. So again, go over to Little Kitty section and surprise. How are we doing, little Mr. Peter Rabbit? You hang in there. We're going to come back and check on you. Next up, I did find some foam tape. Now, I love, love this because this, I think, is replacing the three-pack roll, which I still find from time to time. It comes in the three different sizes. Now, I'm finding Dollar Tree is carrying this less and less. It's kind of hit or miss. When I see it, I grab it. A lot of times I go into Dollar Tree, they don't have it but I'm seeing this at some of the stores now. So this is the foam mounting tape. There's 14 feet in here, my friends, $1.25. Now shop at Hobby Lobby. They do have one similar. It's $1.99. I definitely recommend that one as well. It's comparable. It's pretty much the same size. It's definitely the same width. And they also have three different sizes in the dollar in uh, Hobby Lobby. You can get the small, the medium, or the large. And this would be what Hobby Lobby considers to be the large one. So definitely check this out. Let me show you here the width of the foam tape. Now, I did buy both of the ones that they had. Hopefully, they'll get some more in soon. You can see here, this is amazing. So, it's a little bit thinner. You can see there the width. There you go. You can see the, the how thick the dimension of it is. And this is the three-pack. So, you can definitely see the difference. This one is thicker. And this one is exactly the one that I need. Again, this is using Dollar Tree foam tape. You can see there all the dimension, how thick and puffy this is. That is using this roll here. So just to give you a quick little preview of what this is. So I'm really excited about this one. They also have it in the 60 piece foam square. So this is the same thing, already cut up, ready to go, those little squares. And then they have it in the foam dots as well. Now let me show you how else you can use these little dots. This is great. So if you have these foam dots, right, there are 48 in this stack. See there are 48 pieces. Once you are done using these little round ones, which are perfect, especially if you just want to grab one of these, 
I'm going to use this one later, so let me put that over there. Once all of these are gone, don't throw this out. You can use the outer part here. Just grab your little scissors and cut off any little pieces that you need. Just like that, my friends, you have a small little piece right there. So definitely keep the cast off, keep the outer parts because you'll be able to use that as well. I also picked up a stack of these. Stack? <laughs> definitely not a stack. I picked up two of each, one in the warm colors, one in the cool colors. And these are the brush markers. These are amazing. Three different ways you can use these. You can use them as anticipated you can color with them or use them for calligraphy you can mix these with a little bit of water and you can use these as watercolors and you can also add these straight to your stamping blocks or your stamp spritz it with some water and do direct stamp to paper with these so definitely check these out these are the colors that I found I don't know why I'm thinking I've seen black white or pink in the past but I definitely wanted to show these to you again because because this is something that you definitely want to consider, especially if you want to start watercoloring or, you know, playing around with some markers. Markers are expensive. You know, I've paid $7 for one of these and I've paid upwards of $8 for a Copic marker and they get expensive. You don't have to pay this kind of money for your crafting supplies. You can use what's available to you, what's close to you, and it does work. I promise these are amazing in your crafting supplies. So definitely check Check out what is new so let's go back and check on our little rabbit here how's he doing now hopefully this stuck we're gonna see if it yeah it's on there my friends this is on there so if I pull this up I will rip it and I would really rather not do that so you can see here yeah that's not going anywhere my friends so there you go check it out I love that you can craft on a budget and it can still look good. It can still be functional. It still works and you don't have to spend all your pennies at huge, huge supply stores. There you go, my friends. That is what's new at Dollar Tree. Hopefully you will find some of these items as well. Definitely check out what's in your area. Stay tuned for more videos here on my channel and I will see you on my next one. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.